We have with us today the most fresh and sweet news from the Korean bio industry. My name is Juri Huang and I will be delivering some of Korea's hottest biotech issues today for you. So don't forget to subscribe, like and set your alarm for Bio TV. For today's bio news, we will focus on Korean bio ventures that have jumped into the foreign clinical trials and global markets. In addition, we will bring you the news on Samsung Bio Epis, which recently set a new record in its European sales last year, as well as Green Cross Lab Cell, which recently acquired an Australian patent for its CAR car signaling domain. Investment in bioventures remains solid this year. According to the industry view, interest and investments are expected to stay strong this year, following their surge in year 2020. Yi Seung Gyu, Vice President of Korea Bio, explained that the interest in domestic biotechnology, including diagnostic kits, increased dramatic last year following the outbreak of the novel coronavirus, with this trend being expected to stand firm this year. And yes, indeed, Medical and Bio Ventures recorded the greatest investment performance last year among all industries. A total annual investment amounted to 1.2 trillion Korean won, up by 8.5 percent compared to the previous year, and accounted for 27.8 percent in a total Bio Venture investment performance. After steady growth over the past 10 years, the industry now is now seeing even stronger growth starting from last year. As a result, many people are paying very close attention to the industry to see whether it will achieve another record high investment performance this year as well. Indeed, it is said that domestic and foreign investment companies as well as buyer companies have not stopped with their inquiries into investment, business cooperation and M&A. In order to maintain this momentum and channel the strong interest into actual investment, there needs to be an active effort made to establish business models targeting not only Korea but also the global market. It is definitely time to create substantial results with world-class technology and clear strategies for overseas clinical trials. Last year, Samsung BioEpis's three biosimilars recorded a 7.8% increase in European sales. Among the three, Flixabay, the second product that Samsung BioEpis launched in the European market, saw the biggest increase. Its sales stood at 97.90 million US dollars, up by 43.8% year on year by expanding its annual sales and market share. Imraldi, which is competing with five other products in the European market, generated sales of $216.30 million, a 17.6% increase from a year earlier. Meanwhile, with the launch of Imraldi and four other Humira biosimilars in the European market, the existing Humira has experienced a decline in sales. Benapoli, Samsung BioApis' flagship product and a biosimilar referencing Embril, recorded sales of $481.60 million in 2020. It accounts for more than 40% of the market share across Europe based on its solid quarterly sales of $120 million. Although the market suffered from a temporary reduction as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, Samsung BioApis has seen solid growth in its sales compared to the previous year on the basis of the stable management of its supply chain amid the normalization of the medical system. Green Cross Lab Cell has received a patent for a material and composition for the CAR chimeric antigen receptor signaling domain from the Australian Patent Office. This patent technology is known to enhance the efficacy of the NK natural killer cells by utilizing the CAR signaling domain. NK cells as cells of the innate immune system can swiftly kill tumor and abnormal cells in the body. Nowadays, many people are paying attention to the CAR-NK cell therapy, a combination of NK cells and CAR, as a next-generation anti-cancer drug. 
Compared to the other very few existing products in the market, it has several but very important strengths, which includes the excellent safety, the possibility of mass production, as well as the fact that it can be used for others since it is not a personalized drug. The car signaling domain transmits strong signals to activate NK cells. Green Cross Lab Cell has successfully developed the car signaling domain specialized in activating NK cells compared to the ordinary car signaling domain activating T cells. According to the company, this technology is excellent in helping NK cells survive longer in the body while increasing the drug's efficacy. Green Cross Lab Cell expects that the development of a number of car NK cell therapies using this technology will pick up the pace with the patent that is recently acquired. Well, that's it for today's news. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and set your alarm for Bio News. Make sure to have Korea Bio as a friend on Facebook and LinkedIn as well. And I'll come back to you in two weeks with more new interesting issues related to the Korean bio industry. Bye.